Duet Night Abyss is a 2025 game built on Unreal Engine 5, and these are the game's minimum system requirements. So today, in this video, I'll be showing you how to squeeze out the best possible performance from this game on your low-end PC. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So first the resolution is set to 1080p, DLSS is enabled and set to the performance preset, and DLSS frame generation is also turned on and set to X4 mode. The frame rate is set to unlimited, and every other graphical setting is at its lowest preset. It's important to note that you can't disable anti-aliasing unless you turn off DLS, but don't worry. I'll show you a method to completely disable it even when DLSS is enabled. And so now, with these settings applied, let's now check out the in-game performance. Well, I can say that the game is still quite playable with these settings. In fact, it actually runs pretty well. However, if your game is still lagging or stuttering, then don't worry. Stick with me till the end of this video because I've got some interesting graphical tweaks up my sleeve that will help you achieve a massive FPS boost. So now let's quit the game and see what we can do to improve its performance. The configuration file for this game is located inside the game's directory. Then go to the DNA game folder, followed by EM, saved, config, then into the Windows No Editor folder, and now open the game user settings file with Notepad. Now under the Scalability Group section, you will see the first variable which basically works as the game's resolution scaler. Since we're already playing with DLSS enabled, we don't need to change anything here. Next, make sure to disable the unnecessary graphical properties by setting their values to zero. After that, you'll find two variables that control the game's screen resolution. And unfortunately, the game doesn't support custom resolutions, but I'll still set it to 720p. Now, the value zero written under frame rate limit means it's already set to unlimited. So don't change that either. And that's all we can do for now in this file. Once done, save the file and set its attributes to read only so the game doesn't overwrite your changes. And now let's check if we've got any FPS improvement. And there you go. You can clearly see we've got a noticeable FPS boost after the first set of tweaks. However, shadows are still enabled. Anti-aliasing is still running and a few other effects are active as well. So let's move on and completely get rid of these. Now for further tweaking, simply open the engine file. Here we'll be adding a few variables to boost the game's performance even more. To disable anti-aliasing, just add this variable. And to remove shadows, add this one. You can also include a few extra variables to squeeze out even more FPS. And don't worry, you can easily download the complete config file from the video description below. So after making these changes, save the file and remember to set its attributes to read only so the game doesn't overwrite your settings. Now let's test the game again. And boom, you can literally see an even higher FPS boost. The shadows are gone, anti-aliasing is disabled, and everything looks clean and smooth. Now if you don't like the sharper visuals, you can re-enable anti-aliasing. And if the draw distance looks too low, you can increase the values of the three blue marked variables to around 0.5. But honestly, I don't recommend changing anything. Everything looks and performs great as it is. Now, if you still want a bit more FPS, you can enable potato graphics mode. To do that, open the engine file once again and add these additional variables. After that, save the file, set it to read only, and now let's test the game one last time. And here we go. It's like we're playing Duet Night Abyss Nintendo Edition on PC. It's pretty amazing how smooth and lightweight the game runs now. Before ending this video, here's one last performance tip. Always run the game in DirectX 11 mode because it provides much better performance compared to DirectX 12. So, well guys, that's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your low-spec friends so they can also enjoy playing Duet Night Abyss smoothly on their low-end machines. I'll see you all again in the next video. Until then, take care and bye.